awaken, mighty Obelisk, and rid the sacred palace of this darkness. Before I get started on this video, can you please leave a like and subscribe to my channel? I really need it. So yeah, this video is going to be about uh, SCP-343. Uh, oh my God. I really don't want to, like every time, like I said, I think about the name, I was thinking about seduction for some real reason. But yeah, uh, don't forget to subscribe to uh, Tat's channel either. But yeah, though, um, this video is pretty interesting. I remember watching it before uh, with my brother, but honestly, I pretty much say like most of it was kind of talking through it for like obvious reasons, you know, talking about like if we were agreeing or not. Like last thing I remember, like the guy was like, it was like, it was me asking the questions pretty much. It was kind of weird. I don't remember coming across a point in my life where somebody said it's asking the same questions pretty much you know, about God, you know, as me, but yeah, um, please don't be too, you know, just think a little outside the box. That's what I'm going to say with this uh, video, but yeah, we're going to quickly get into it. And I guess I'll just mention everything else inside the video, but I, I do my best not to talk over it. So I got Ooh, another way I got to do the volume. I got to make sure that's on point. Or, uh, I mean, I got to listen to Whoa, it. hey, hey. You all right? Don't f***ing touch me. <laughs> Let's get this over and done with so I can go back to my hole. If you haven't had enough time to... It's not the medication, damn it. I just need to breathe. You it's hurt weird, you. like... Yeah? You gonna stop him? He's not a mindless what beast type of chasing you down he is. That covers the NTFs at C2. Sounds like what about the SCPs? Like a lot, at least likes to pretend them. he's more civilized. You're safe. My hero. Have I arrived late? Or oh, okay. perhaps Sorry, too early? Uh, yeah, God, I presume. <laughs> In the corporeal. A pleasure to meet you, and voila. O five Jacobs. <clears throat> and uh, this is my associate. Ah, yes, Mr. Watson. Good to finally make your acquaintance. Likewise. Yeah, you caused quite a stir yeah, like in the heavenly water cooler. Yeah, man, like, why is he asking so many questions? Because uh, it's like, look, I, I, I don't see why would God give us a brain, no you know, able to think outside the box or ask it's questions. It's more of a golden anything. fountain We're just like kids at the end of an ethereal river. Just like kids. It really is it's quite like a sight. Your kids ask too many questions. You're like, not uh, sitting with us, you, Mr. Jacobs? One day you'll understand. You can't Uncalous. understand right now because you can't Preferred concept. You, you can't. As you wish. You can't begin More time to, to you converse know, with your associates. Whatever, you know. I was very impressed like at reality, your ability I mean, to stay out <laughs> of trouble. <laughs> trying to think of the word. I couldn't think of it. Call it C2. I wouldn't exactly you say don't know how reality is. How's, it was yeah, more yeah, trying to stay in one piece world, kind of you know, deal. With guns and all that. Right now you think it's La La Land. Physically. Before we get started, is there anything you'd like to ask? He's a big boy, all knowing. I hate to say, even no questions the to ask. Mad shit that I would we're prefer going the through, opportunity. Still think it's not really As too much. I like it. Funny, you know what? Is you know the bigger picture the is. Of we're also big on the idea of free will. Isn't that right, Jacobs? Then what is it you'd like to know, three four three? God, on. <clears throat> if you'd please. Sure. I do find it more suitable than being compared to a used car salesman. He's just trying to get Sorry. under this game. Wasn't personal. Just set it to it's like you ever watched and The Simpsons. And Your Bart, concern is unwarranted. Is I have been called much worse. 
I have no stake in apologies here. Oh, you will. We all have something to repent. This room requires a more aesthetically pleasing design. I shall return shortly. That could have gone better. You're doing okay. Get more just take it easy. And this man just I'm won't. trying. Okay. I'm ready. It's okay, Tats. Good. Because I'm going to need you to play good cop to my bad cop in this. We've only got one shot at so getting that's the first a conversation really with this guy, over. and if we want a clear confirmation as to whether or not he's actually God, we we'll have to work together. Anyways, I'm sorry. Understood. I'm so sorry. That's the reason why, if yeah. anything, watch the original video yeah, and watch it. it with me. Try to relax. That, yeah, definitely do I doubt that. he'll throw anything mm -hmm. we won't expect. Gentlemen, shall we begin? We're ready. Speaking of 035, it claims to also be God, or at least created by them. Zeus, Hephaestus, you get the gist. Any relation? A fool may play the part of God, but neath the mask, you still be a fool. That a confession, or...? <laughs> I do that not deny really nice. that there is that my world like, um, who possess Oh man, I wish I could make a run like that before. Well, yeah, I guess like... Yet. You die, go to heaven, and it looks like that, but why don't you like a place like that? Like, we believe what we oh see, God, but like what we see is what we believe. Daily. Seems a bit <laughs> blasphemous to allow these beings to go about representing you. Couldn't you just, you know, zap it? Do you spot every fly or crush every ant that pervades your domain? My instructions have always been clear, but it is up to mankind to follow this teaching. Oh, so it's our fault. Lovely. A lack of understanding doesn't help. Assumptions are tools of the uneducated. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's smart. Probably could have used some of that knowledge, huh? Might have come in handy somewhere down the line. Oh, you wish for every charlatan to be punished? Then say no more. I didn't. Stay back, or four eyes gets the shark. Oh my. <sighs> This is I forget. <laughs> Just gonna... The Great Pretender. You stole my mind. Heresy is a crime punishable by death. But for you, I'll be merciful. It's a fine line between pleasure. What did you do with him? Put that mask back in its cell! Once punishment has been concluded, it will be returned. Hmm. Dio, rejected by God, and beings more deserving of that title than he. They being... A tale unworthy of the voice of God. We'll take it in writing. It must be hard to insist you're the one true God when we have clear evidence to the contrary. Have I not proven my omnipotence? Ah, but as you say, belief is in the eye of the beholder. We've got reality benders, physics destroying dimension hopping creatures all over the place. Popping things in and out of sight isn't much comparatively in the way of proof. What he means is that in the way of definitive examples of your godhood, creation, heaven, hell, you're a little on the short side. My abilities are not token yeah, to be yeah. demanded. As it is but written, him, you know, how convenient. What, what a get me as convenient is the fact as that your he's... foundation, I don't know. containing the beast hmm. that would otherwise wreck destruction reality. upon the world I created from nothing. That might get me. What if it were? Then his old man looks. Perhaps a change of fate would be enough to satisfy him. You wouldn't. He's bluffing. What value is there in deception? Is not influencing the path of mankind the godlike act. Then everyone would die. Nothing would be left. To start from nothing is no new concept to me. But we are not all of humanity. One thing we I can't punish everyone because we don't believe. The desire, however terrible, was not, not my own. Was it was you.
wishful thinking is not one that hey, considers like the consequences. Damn. That is the difference between a pretender granting wishes and a god who answers prayers. Well, if all these other beings are simply posers, then why don't you tell us a little bit about them? Provide evidence of their deception. Their falsehood is evident in their fallibility. How many cults has your foundation discovered in your observations? I don't know. A couple dozen? Too many. Yet, despite this, their evil remains at bay. Yaldabaoth commands their Sakrites as pawns, demanding the destruction yeah, sorry, of technology to return my maybe, children sorry. to a more primitive state. Milkane alternatively seeks to force down, humanity looking, into transcending into realms you are far too young to comprehend. A journey you would not survive, nor return from. That in a spiritual sense? As for Kahara. The other name. Please. The Scarlet King, as you call him, desires only destruction. A futile effort, but a simple I'm, I'm, one. I'm not even gonna talk about Your that very now. fear of him brings forth his not yet. But what do these three have in common? Bad dental work? Amusing. If they were truly gods up to my standing, would they not have already succeeded in their goals? For what purpose does a god require the services of lesser beings to carry out their design? A desire? I created the universe with no such vessel. My power is absolute. Surely a god as powerful as that would use their might to slay evil. Even evil deserves the right to free will. To enforce my control to more than an influence would make me, as you say, evil. I do what I must. Their infighting and seclusion are in part a result I mean, of my will. I, but the choices I mean, I guess they've I didn't made want to really say their this fates. Until like the Which makes the tracking your abilities virtually the impossible. The, the, the freedom in choice is always the... desired. With the potential oh, of man. this... For the most belief. part, honestly, but like, every yeah, I'm talking like 90%, is not not. It just, I understand chats, you know, where he's coming from. Because, like I said, he's pretty much just said that everything I did, if I have one little nitpicking question, bias question, whatever, selfish question, well, I'm gonna say Were you born into godhood, day. or did you inherit it somehow? To be born in first right a beginning, a which implies an eventual Why? end. Yeah, Existence and I are inextricably linked. Well, pardon us for not understanding time as an infinite loop. Even that is quite an incorrect observation of how I function. But to answer your initial question, the burden of godhood has, and always shall be, my own. Sorry, excuse for a burden. You care to repeat that? You're hardly treating your pals as though they were much of a burden. By your own admission, prayers go unanswered, free will decides humanity's fate nine times out of ten, and the odd exception isn't always your doing. From where I'm standing, it almost seems as though you prance on in, give birth to whatever species you're bored enough to make, then split without consequences. To view oh, my presence as a luxury shows a remarkable lack of understanding second, uh, and the responsibilities yeah, yeah. of the one true That's deity. Cool. Yeah, yeah, we get the gist of it. You filter the cries for help and keep the boogeyman at bay. What's confusing is all the things that you've told us so far don't seem to be all that time-consuming. I mean, if eternity's nothing for you, then how is the odd magic trick and bait and switch that strenuous? Leaders of any kind are faced with decisions that hold vast and uncertain consequences. While omnipotence may grant me the gift of foresight, 
does not allow the certainty in the face of free will. That is the penalty for obtaining freedom. The right to do wrong. To march headfirst into oblivion. I have sworn to never again stand in the way of mankind's ability to choose. And so my decision to act for good could very well tip the scales alternatively. But what if our collective will is to beg you for help? That's our choice. By that point, you'd be more of an ally than God. Or would that be too much of a step down for you off that ivory tower? If you are implying my inaction is not with the best intention. Oh, I'd say it sounds more like an abusive partner gaslighting their significant other. You can't create the circumstances of evil, then blame us for it when we don't clean up the mess. As I have said, mortal, my efforts are not limited to mere choice. My eyes and ears are spread out amongst the stars. That's a lot of senses at work. Just how far does your presence spread? How many forms do you take? Your lifespans would not bless the time it would take to recount. Figures. All right. Recent history. For a time, my presence was more in influence than direct. Visions, images, things that nowadays men use to stray more people from the path. I provided warnings of the future to Nostradamus, whose predictions of history you can attest to being accurate. More like up to interpretation. You have a bit of a penchant for that. Interpretation is the key to humanity's free will. If you are unable to choose the right paths alone, then that is your cross to bear. Little on the nose. In a year's time, Nostradamus predicted that a great plague would befall humanity. Perhaps then you believe my word. Sorry, yeah, I, okay, look, I'm trying to right? stay quiet, you know, no. for... But as with my teachings, humanity will interpret facts over feeling, there, even if I were yeah. to be and, well, I guess also my actions. Kind of nice Man is perhaps videos. more ignorant yeah. than you give them credit. Yeah, I didn't I'll say. Uh, there was one account with SCP-187 where she saw you as a little girl. Our staff witnessed you as you are, but she, well... She has something of a future sight. It is not a form I am certain I have been, but if it is in reference to what I am to become... By implication, somewhat permanently. Perhaps in your future, it is possible. But not certain. To you. Interesting. That path is determined by you, not myself. The image of a child may yet prove useful in your future, as the forms of others in your past. Soothsayers, mediums, healers throughout history, lost to your time. But for all my efforts, absolution was not to be found. Then what were you doing in Prague trying to heal the sick? I had been observing the Foundation for a time. And determine that first contact I'm not lie, I'm not would really be, gonna be an like acceptable this, uh, risk. Why? Isn't what you're doing with us direct action? A hidden organization, separated from the majority of mankind, still skeptical of my powers despite first-hand proof. Speaking through you would be akin to mere advice, whispers, and ripples.